Hello, glorious people, and welcome to, well, a new game <laughs> by Hooked Assassin. This game is called Annoying Call. Flap. This game is called Prison Architect, and it is currently in alpha. And today, we're going to run through the introduction of it and kind of play around with it a little bit because I just found it and I just realized that those people right there are naked but uh, it's a build your own prison kind of game kind of like towns it's uh, kind of messed up and yet fun and I'll put the uh, actually I'm not going to put the link in the description because you have to sign up to be able to get the game it's currently $30, but that gives you access to the entire game throughout all its development. And if you, there are higher tiers you can buy as well, where some of them you can get other games from these developers, or you can get your name in the game, or even personalize your own little character to put in the game. <coughs> <coughs> So, we're going to run through, and this is uh, just going to be a, uh, like, preview of it to show you what it's like. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an execution chamber for the time of the guy's big day. This is where I want the new facility to be built. The first step, as with any project like this, is to construct the building itself, with enough space inside to fit an execution chamber and a holding cell. <coughs> so let's get started. <clears throat> construct a new building here. We will also need an entrance to the new execution facility. Build a large jail door into the southern wall. So down here, it's paused, okay. Down here we've got our menus. And uh, I can see some of these things are locked right now because uh, you need certain parts of the game to be open to you. Which is where uh, well, some of these things will come in. And because this is still an alpha, it's gonna have glitches still, but We've got, like that right there, the texture is not right for some reason. We've got a pretty good game for being an alpha, actually. Huh. They just added a new update not too long ago that gave uh, fire trucks and stuff like that in case you were to uh, have a fire break out. And, uh... I haven't really experimented with it much because the tutorial doesn't go incredibly far, but it gives you a little bit of an understanding. So, down here we've got our menus. We've got foundation, materials, rooms, objects, utilities, which we'll see later, staff, <coughs> oh, which is literally just hiring staff. It'll also tell you how many of that person you've got. Um, 911, I don't know what it does yet. I don't know what deployment does yet. And I don't know what bureaucracy does yet. But we're going to go into foundation and we're going to building. And the first thing you need, is, need to do is lay a foundation for your building. And then if you go into objects, you can find most of your objects in here. And uh, we want a jail door there. And once we do that, since we're paused, it's not going to do anything. So we can go click play, and you'll see our little workers start to get up and go here. So, <clears throat> this guy, while they're doing that, this guy will call us and he'll be like, Your workmen are responsible for constructing things, blah blah blah, the storeroom has all the stuff where they'll need it. They use raw materials to build foundations, framework, 
this is the slowest part of construction, so you need to plan ahead when you're building new facilities. Oh wait, wait, let's take a look around. Now, you can use your WASDA keys to look around, and your mouse to scroll. You can also hold the mouse button down and move, but it's kind of tricky, it's easier to use the, uh, the WASDA keys, because if you're holding an item, you can click the mouse, the middle mouse button. And uh, rotate the icon. And uh, we can speed this up a little bit here. Which it's kind of done now, so it's not a big point to it. There we go. And uh, you can see the lights that we had on the ground there, which were these little poles, went into the floor and they became like a light for the actual room. Inside the building, we want a jail cell and an execution room. Partitioning space, this is just showing you how to uh, partition spaces. First, we need walls to divide the spaces. So we're going to put walls there, and there, and right there. <clears throat> With the assumption that we'll be using these doors, otherwise we'd make it one smaller. And, uh, so we'll speed them up and get them to lay their brick a little bit faster here. Look at all these little workers. Here, they kind of have all this mashed together still, but uh, yes, I know we need jail doors. And then it shows you how to rotate. You can also hit R to rotate items. So we'll take and put a jail door here. You can also right click to cancel that if you don't place it right. Like, say, I didn't want it there, I placed it here, or, oops, or I placed it like that. I can cancel it and rotate it. <coughs> Which is good, because it took me a while to figure out how to do a window. <clears throat> now that's our balance, and this, I think, is our daily income. Which, we're actually spending a lot of what we make. Probably on all the people, because we have a lot of people. We now need designated rooms within the spaces. So we'll go to rooms, and it's the same as towns, where you can say, okay, we want this to be the cell, but if we look, <clears throat> it tells you minimum size and the requirements, which it'll go over again in a second. All that exclamation point means is that it can't be used right now because you haven't fulfilled all the requirements. And that's exactly what he's about to say. <clears throat> For the cell to be considered a cell, it needs a toilet, which we're going to rotate and put right there, and a bed. And that's all it needs. <clears throat> for the execution room to be considered an execution room, we need an electrical chair because we need a way for them to be executed. And that's all that he's saying, is that we needed to do that. And once we have those two items in there, <clears throat> it will become a usable room. They're just going to take all day about it. Where are they coming from? Okay, I don't know. Oh, they might be getting the stuff out of here. Yeah, they had to go all the way out there for it. Man! Chow time's done. One of the glitches that it was talking about <clears throat> is these will randomly, their heads will be replaced with random little lips. <coughs> huh, which you'll see later and I'll explain. But, uh, okay, so. There's still a few improvements you could make but they're not essential. It, I'm not sure what the happiness of your prison inmates does, but if you add some non-essential stuff to rooms, it will increase the happiness, supposedly. I'm not sure what that does, but... All it basically is is the uh, sentimental stuff. And then it'll take us over here and it'll say, okay, this is our guy that we've condemned. This is the man in question, Edward Romsey. A teacher of us, would you believe? It is not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision. We're just here to do our job. Once you are satisfied this facility sorry, is ready, you can begin the prisoner transfer to his new cell. Simply click on him and then right outside the door. But we're going to go ahead and wait for a second. 
we're gonna go into objects, and it's got all these optional things up here. One of which is it needs to add two lights outside. Um, we need a window, so we're gonna take and we're gonna rotate our window inward, otherwise it won't work for some reason. And I know that that, gu that guy's sleeping in what should be his bed, but or Edward's bed, I mean. But I don't understand entirely. So, and then the only other thing we need to do, I believe, we've got a bookshelf. We read. It. Oh, we need to redo the floor. So we'll go in, and there's a bunch of different floors. We've got wooden, concrete. I usually try to do either ceramic or mosaic. I w don't want to do metal because that just seems like it would hurt. Frankly, increases their walking speed. Though. walk fast on metal too. But uh, they'll go and they'll lay all the mosaic floor in. And then we can go up here to the anything that doesn't say floor really. And uh, so we'll probably make it gravel is what we'll do. Or no, let's make it snow. And make a pad to the new to the other cell block here. And that'll be our other optional. <coughs> and we'll, we're also going to connect it right here. Just to connect those two. It kind of got poorly planned where he wanted all that, but... Not my decision. So, there wasn't really much I could do. With it. And that should take care of that. Or not. I guess it makes us use this. Okay. Well, normally I wouldn't use this, but it wants us to use the paving stone instead, I guess. So, uh, we got our little people out here in nightlight hats. And they're working like a bunch of busybodies. There we go. Now we can go over here, and we've done everything we can. So we'll click on him and right click and send him out there. And then it's going to tell us his backstory. I don't know why they feel the need to call me for that, but whatever. Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone-cold killer. Guilty as charged. He even confessed. I want to hear his description of what he did. It's juicy stuff. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew she was on. These Polaroids will have something to do with the cases as well, as you get prisoners in, but I'm not sure. Because <laughs> that Polaroid in the warden's office kind of gave way a little bit. See, the door opens and it's just floating there. Ah, uh, alpha versions. I'm using. Not a bad game, for being an alpha. Clear as day, if you ask me. Deserves every vault he's gonna get. All men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you sure, it's so sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment? Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. And he went there with a loaded gun, knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. The state is making an example of him. If he'd committed his crime a hundred miles north, He'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that justice? Do you 
you want a guy like this running around free, I'll sleep just fine at night knowing that he's gone. I didn't read it exactly, but whatever. And frankly, I find that hard to argue because if you know that he killed him because of cheating on him, then how is your life in danger? Unless you plan on cheating on him for some reason, which doesn't make any sense. Anyway, good work so far. However, there's one problem. The execution room isn't functioning yet because it doesn't have any power. <clears throat> we need to connect it to the electrical supply. And there's the electrical grid for our prison, which is awesome! <laughs> we are now viewing the prison in utilities mode, which shows us the electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. It also shows you water, but it won't say that right now. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electrical cables. <laughs> power is provided to the prison by this substation which draws electricity from the national grid. Those are the little things that replaced heads. As you can see, this entire wing of the prison cells without power. All of the lights are out. <clears throat> to fix this problem, we first need to switch into utilities mode and understand why the lights are without power. <clears throat> the nearest electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers can't complete the wiring for this area. <clears throat> Extend the electrical cables nearby to cover this wing of the prison. So what we do is we go into utilities. We've got a couple things in here. We've got power, capacitors, electrical cables, power switches. I'm not sure what power switches do yet. And then we've got water, all the water main stuff. Not sure what that does quite yet either. Or not necessarily what it does, but how to use it yet. And then, uh, so we'll take our electrical wiring and we'll extend it out to right here. And we will promptly see if we speed up time. All of our little busybodies grab some electrical wiring <clears throat> and head straight over there. <clears throat> and of course we always have to wait on those last three. Go. That whole thing is powered, and it'll automatically transfer power to these cells if they're close enough. <clears throat> Lights aren't the only thing that needs power. <clears throat> Your new electrical chair does too. Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. The electrical chair itself is a special type of electrical item. It requires its own dedicated power line. You'll need to connect it up directly with the mains cables. Which, if you see, is not the only thing that's like that. A lot of the stuff doesn't... What is... Why is that unpowered? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Eh, whatever. <clears throat> we are not worried about that. Anyway, if you see, all of the freezers and stoves do their own power as well. <clears throat> and all those need to be directly connected. And then, if you look over here... Actually, I'll go ahead and connect this first. Idea. That should connect them all. Yep. Now, if you look over here, you see your power, and it looks, if you've ever played Command and Conquer, <clears throat> the power bar works kind of like that power bar in Command and Conquer 3, I think it was. Um, where it will be a bar, and however much power you're using is where the meter fills. So I don't have much power left. We're almost done. I think we should test a new execution room at least once before we... Dr. Octagonopus. Before we Dr. Octagonopus. I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds to make sure everything is okay. <clears throat> and I already know what's going to happen. The whole system goes dark. That didn't work. Looks like we drew too much power. 
and trip the circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison is dark. We're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that electrical chair generates. So what we need to do is I'll just shut him up. He wants us to come back here, flip on all these capacitors, turn the power on, and it, you can see that it's only going to power so much <clears throat> until you get it to have enough power to sustain everything that you have on it. So switch everything on, and then we'll switch it on. And now that it can sustain everything, without that chair of course, it will power everything. So what we'll do is build three more capacitors, and then we can pretty much run anything we want. But, you know that if your power doesn't start, you need more capacitors. And I'm not sure how many capacitors per uh, power station you can have, necessarily. If you want to say it that way, I guess. Or if you have to have a new power station after a certain amount of capacitors, or what. Or maybe a power station. I I'm not just, I'm just not sure. I would imagine you can just only have them around so close to the uh, power station before it won't let you do it because the past capacitor is too far from the uh, power station which in turn would mean you'd have to make another one that will be so much power it's ridiculous but I guess if you have a massively large prison it makes sense <clears throat> alright so we've got three and as you can see now our power grid is really really far down um, it's at about half so we'll go over here test this one more time and if we switch it on we'll watch our power here it still draws a, lot, a ton of power but it works well done I believe we're finished with this job what happens now is out of our hands we did a professional job and that's important in our business try not to worry about what happens next and now you get to see everything that happens essentially be going into the electrical chair and that would be kind of crappy.
that's pretty much it. Mm. So that was the tutorial level. Um, I'm going to, next episode, start up my own prison, and we'll build it from the base up, which could run into a lot of problems, because I have no idea what I'm doing. But, if you want this game, uh, I'll put the link in the description for the site where I got it, and you can take a look at it. But I think it's turning out to be a good game. I got it for 50, which also gave me four other games from them, and those can be activated on Steam. This one is not a full release, so it can't be activated on Steam yet. But uh, it'll hopefully go into green light. <clears throat> so, I don't know. But uh, if you want to go look, take a look, I'll throw the link in the description. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what I did wrong, what I can do better, all that good stuff that I always say. And, uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to watch the next episode where I'll start my own prison and hopefully won't get shanked with by uh, some kind of evil killer.